Good morning and welcome to Peace Out Take Two. I'm learning to peace out <laughs> because technology is not helping. Maybe it's actually helping, right? Because I can push the buttons and go, you know, it's okay. So the other one, my Wi-Fi has been cutting off just when I'm doing a live broadcast. I don't have any problems with it except when I do the live broadcast. Is that crazy or what? So I just turned the Wi-Fi off. So we'll see how well this goes. It may lag. I don't know. We'll find out. But I know it won't cut off in the middle of my video because it's not on, right? Anyway, welcome to my writing space. I love, this is my new area of my house that I set up, and I am loving this little space. And I've got the, the cover. It won't be up long because the stream tape will come on because I've talked. I'm long-winded. But uh, Commander Morning is a devotional I'm working on. It's going to be released in November. You'll have to stay tuned for that or go check out my author page where I put up the announcements for my for upcoming books and stuff like that. But it will be coming out in November. There's more specific uh, details on uh, the Jeannie Olinger author page. There's an author Jeannie Olinger. I think it's Jeannie Olinger author page. <laughs> but uh, I can put the link in there if you need it. Anyway, so uh, uh, this morning I am definitely practicing peace out. I had a very sad moment early this morning, a very grievous time. I, I, I was ready for another sip of coffee and I grabbed my cup and it was empty. And I was like, how could that happen? I know I could just almost, I wanted that other cup of one more sip and it just wasn't there. Yeah, I'm being silly. But I re that really did happen. <laughs> I was just like, how could it be gone? I was wanting one more drink, one more sip before the, the, the broadcast and it was gone. So I, uh, and I, yeah, I'm being silly. Okay, well, welcome to my world. This is this is how I live, <laughs> live my life, right? So anyway, so you know when I find a scripture, when I'm reading, I will camp there. Now yesterday I camped in Psalm 19. And Psalm 19 is just such a rich uh, psalm and it's just a really good passage and it's just got so many different things. It starts with creation and you know I really like creation and well, the scriptures about creation and things like that. I just think everything's based in that. Do we believe it or not? We have to kind of start there, don't we? So today, though, I found this scripture in Psalm 92. Now, it's not like I've never read it before, but this morning, it just really, I was just like, wow, I'm going to camp here. And here's what it says. Psalm 92, verse 2 says, it's a, it is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening. And I was like, you know what? We can sandwich our day with thanking God in the morning for the mercies and grace we need for the day. And then in the evening, we can thank him again for being faithful to bring us through that day. And so I'm going to try this today, right? This is one of the things I'm going to be real serious about today. But so I, I thought, well, we start in the mornings with thanking God for his grace and his mercy. Because he, you know, we've said this before, his mercies are new every morning for us, but God doesn't have a morning. He doesn't get up and go, oh, I'm a little bit late. Let me get these mercies going today. No, it's always day for God. Besides, he never sleeps. He doesn't even rest. He's just taking care of us. He put things in motion. He's given us enough grace for the day before we got up, let alone him getting up. And he's given us, his mercies are new every morning for our benefit, on our behalf. So we start in the morning by declaring, I know I have the mercies of God to make it through today. I know that nothing's going to come across my path or across my plate today that God has not already given me the grace and mercy to handle and the peace to make it through too. So I can, and I can just start with maybe a declaration of, I will trust you today, God. I'm going to follow you today. I'm going to seek you today. Your I wills, your I am's, right, for the day. I will trust your mercies today. I will, I, I will thank you for the grace. I know I already have the grace to proclaim it. I know I already have the grace today to face whatever comes across my plate today, right? And then in the evening, you thank him. Thank you for bringing me through those things that I needed your grace and your mercies to work through today, right? In the evenings, you just thank him for what he did in the day. What a great praise sandwich that is, right? What, what a cool praise sandwich. We're going to praise God in the morning because he's already taken care of this day for us before we even lived it, before we could see it. He already saw it. He already planned it. He already planned to take care of us. He already planned to cover us. He already planned us to have his peace to and grace and mercy to navigate through the waters, the fires, the whatever, the good stuff, the bad stuff, the mediocre stuff of the day. He already took care of it for us. And then in the evening, we can look back at the day and go, wow, God, you really carried me through that. That was really tough. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. But you were there for me. And we can thank him in the evenings for that 
faithfulness that we know him for. He is so faithful and true. And he, you know, you're not going to face anything in a day that God's going to go, I didn't see that coming. I didn't know that was going to happen. Where did that come from? I didn't plan this. No, oh, God has a day planner and you are in it. Taking care of you is what he wrote in for today. He wrote in the grace you need for the day. He wrote in his presence you need for the day. Remember Psalm 46 once that he's a present help in times, plural, of trouble. He is our constant companion in this day. No matter what this day brings in, I'm not planning any bad things today. I got good things planned for today. I got plans today. Don't tell nobody, right? And so, I, you know, it, whether the day is really good or really bad, God is going to walk through this day with me. He's going to walk through this day with you. He's not going to abandon you if it gets bad or abandon you if it's really good and go, well, I know you don't need me. It's up to us to follow him, to choose to follow him today and to embrace the mercies that are new for us this morning. Embrace that grace that we know is going to take us through. His grace is sufficient, he told Paul. But whatever you're going through today, good, bad, indifferent, <laughs> wherever you are on that spectrum, or and you can be in that spectrum, you know, your finances might be bad and your health is good, or your health might be bad and your finances are, are good. Whichever, it doesn't matter. God got you, and he doesn't have an elimination list. I cover everything except I can't cover this, or I can't cover grief, or I can't cover this. I, I, I don't do relationships. I don't know. Y'all just work that out. No, God's got us covered for today. So in the morning, you thank him and declare you're going to hang on to his grace. You're going to embrace his mercies for the day. You're going to trust him for the day. You're going to praise him through the day. And then in the evening, we're going to finish off that sandwich by thanking him for being the faithful, faithful to carry us through one more day. And that's why we can peace out. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.